Hello, I'm Elizabeth Rodericks, a CRLA Master Level Tutor from the Bristol Community College Learning Commons. This will be a brief presentation about note-taking methods in an online setting. We will discuss different ways to take physical notes, create study guides, and construct study schedules. We will begin with some more general note-taking tips. It has been shown by scientific studies that taking notes by hand in a physical notebook versus online typing is associated with better test results. Therefore, continuing with handwritten notes in an online setting could improve your studying and memorization. Rather than trying to remember entire chapters worth of information when taking notes afterwards, it could also be more helpful to have a notebook open for notes while you're reading. It's also important to remember that you do not have to rewrite everything to the letter, and phrasing notes in your own words can make committing the information to memory easier. Keeping your notes consistent is also important. This includes reviewing your notes at a certain time of day, after dinner for example, using a separate notebook for each course or separate subjects in a multi-subject notebook will also make it easier to keep focus on one course at a time. Using the same highlighters and pens, or at least the same color, can make it clear which parts of your notes are especially important. For example, using an orange highlighter for important information or underlining formulas in green. The first of the popular note-taking methods is the outline method, which is made by using bulleted lines in your notebook. The main topic would be on the first line, and subtopics, topics under the umbrella of the main topics, are written on lines underneath that have been indented. Further detail into subtopics would be indented even farther out. The setup looks like opening folders within folders on your computer. The visual spacing of the outline method lets you take in your notes more quickly. Another method is the Cornell method, where you use three quarters of your notebook page for regular note taking. The other quarter of the page to the left would be used for noting down questions you have and comments about the information to revisit when you review later. You should also leave a sectioned off row at the bottom of the page, as this is where you would write a summary of your notes when reviewing. This method also doubles as a study method, as you are actively rewriting your notes in the summary box. The charting method is not to be done during your first round of note taking, as the chart takes time to set up. By creating columns for definitions, when to use the term or formula, and an example of the term or formula, you can organize each piece of information you need to remember in rows going down the page. This method is useful in courses that require heavy vocab, language, or formulas. Again, creating and reviewing this information is meant to be used more as a study guide. Another method meant to be used as a study guide after initial note taking is the reference sheet. The setup is also useful for courses with a lot of vocab or formulas. Using the picture to the right as a general reference, include the title of the course at the top. Separate terms by chapter, labeling what each term is and naming each formula. Leave space in between chapters for easier reading and color code formulas, rules, or parts of speech for vocab. It is also recommended that you use a plastic document sleeve to preserve the page and keep it in your course folder. You can also create a weekly study calendar to keep track of the times you need to study and complete coursework for each class. To set up the calendar, first write the days of the week across the top of a blank page and write the hours of the day down the left-hand side of the page. These hours can be the average hours from when you wake up to when you go to sleep. In a separate box off to the side, write down your list of classes so you can keep track of what study times you need to mark down. In this calendar, make boxes throughout the week for study time for each class. Each box should be for a separate class and should say what specific chapters or assignments you need to work on. You should also keep in mind the two to three hour rule, which states that for every hour of usual class time, you should study two to three hours on your own. Set alarms for yourself, taking five to 10 minute breaks. Also make sure to give yourself time for other responsibilities as well as rest. This studying can be done by yourself through reviewing, rewriting, or reciting notes to yourself, or through a tutoring appointment. Though handwriting notes can be more beneficial, there are online note-taking applications for Windows, Android, and iPhone. One is Microsoft OneNote, which is compatible for Word and Excel, also letting you draw on images, create to-do tags on documents, and record audio. Google Keep is compatible with Google Drive and Google Docs, and can also scan images of handwritten notes to digital text. Simple Note is a much simpler text-only note-taking software, if you prefer a less complicated tool. 
Thank you for watching, and hopefully this offered some helpful information for adjusting to an online setting. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact the Learning Commons at onlinelc at bristolcc.edu or call 774-357-4013 to leave a message. You can also contact someone through the Access BCC chat box under College Resources in the Learning Commons section. The resources here were used to create this presentation. Feel free to look through these references for more information on this and similar topics.